Crime is on the rise, so says senior top-ranking officials of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force. At a recent press conference, Commissioner of Police Edward Hull announced the crime statistics for 2008, and police analysis are reporting a significant rise in crime for the year 2008, in contrast to the decline that was seen by law enforcement officials in previous years. Police officials say that there were approximately 2,100 reported crimes in 2008, 43 percent of which were burglaries. Assault and woundings were also on top of the list. Murder was reported as being on the decline, and an alarming increase in sexual offenses were also reported. Last year, the figures for the same period was 1,922, and we recorded a detection rate of 35 percent. So when, compared to 2000 and, when comparing 2007 with 2008, I am pleased to report that the detection rate has increased by some 5%. He went on to say that a large portion of the assault and wounding cases are in relation to domestic violence. Hull said that the underlying problem has a great deal to do with the economic downturn, the influx in illegal immigrants, and a recent increase in career criminals. The commissioner revealed that the police will double their efforts to combat crime. And the trend has always been when this happened, we have a surge in criminal activities. Unfortunately, for this month alone, we have had some three um, known landings and one interception. It was revealed by a superintendent of the Royal Turks and Caicos Tactical Unit Force that there was a decrease in robberies committed with firearms, however, an increase in crimes committed with the use of other forms of weapons, mainly blades. There has been a 78% reduction in those numbers of where firearms are used. So firearms uh, use in robberies has really gone down. Uh, and we put that down to, to the, the strategies that we've ad adopted. We have uh, an armed response unit that patrols the island. The tactical unit uh, have been very proactive in target targeting known and suspected robbers. Um, there's been lots of stop searches on people and vehicles. And our strategy has to, been to uh, force criminals to avoid the use of firearms wherever practicable. And now that has resulted, uh, unfortunately, in them using knives in preference to firearms. Assistant Commissioner to the Marine Branch, Neil Hall, announced that their department will be revising its policies to inflict stronger regulations when dealing with illegal immigrants in hopes of combating the surge in criminal activity. Hall said that with the recent review of the TCI Marine Branch, more attentiveness needs to be given to the department as they are in need of machinery and other services. The illegal immigration is a big problem for the Turks and Caicos Islands and it is one that we are putting a lot of effort into and in reality that is my main thrust of what I'm doing here at the moment. Um, you're all aware that there was a review of the marine unit uh, last year which led to the creation of my post and what I'm doing at the moment is reviewing the marine unit as it stands and what it's done in the past and looking at how I can uh, change things um, to improve how the marine unit operates and for us to achieve better results. What I would say is that um, what I've seen of the people and the standards in the marine unit is very good. However, we do need to look at changing our operating patterns. We do need to look at hopefully getting some new equipment. And with the current financial situation, I know that's going to be difficult. So what we're probably going to have to do is do better with the equipment that we've got. To coronate the conference, students from the IFE Pratt Primary School, Danid Capron Primary School, and Osita Jolly participated in a crime-free event. Crime hurts! Crime prevention! 